we return to our graduates of 2024 with Naomi Lagtu at University College London. She's in her fourth year studying arts and sciences and having had a year abroad, she's been busy applying for graduate jobs. Right now I'm applying for management consultancy jobs. Um, some of them have been procurement consultancy specifically because I feel like the projects that they do are quite varied and I think that it lends itself quite well to my degree. Naomi is looking for an ethical dimension to her first job after university. I think the companies that I've looked at and really felt inclined to work for are the ones that have projects that really drive social impact, I suppose. I think that's why I do enjoy languages. I do enjoy looking at different policies, I suppose, because I want to be able to do something that has a social impact. Naomi has been making the most of in-person events at UCL. Yeah, there was a company that I really liked at the management consultancy fair that I had never heard of, which was Proxima, which is kind of the procurement arm of Bain and company. Um, and it introduced me to procurement consulting, which I'd never considered ever. <laughs> and so I think it was really useful to actually have someone face to face that I could ask, you know, questions about the company, about that role. Sometimes I feel like when you are reading stuff online, it doesn't really give you a sense of what the role actually entails. So it was really useful. She's made plenty of applications this autumn but Naomi is being careful about which employers she pursues. So far, I've applied to perhaps 20 places, and then I think for most of them, I've done the online tests. And then when it comes to interviews, I've probably only really done around five. I think the interviews are a real test <laughs> if I actually want to apply for the place or not, because they do take up so much time. Naomi's had a mixed experience with employers' online assessments. When I had to apply for these companies, I had to do online tests. Um, and some of them were okay. Surprisingly, the Sky online test actually made me like the company more. I think the way it was designed actually gave me a proper feel for the company rather than other assessments that I've done where it really feels like they're kind of unnecessarily putting you under pressure. I think sometimes I've done assessments where they make you answer maybe 15 questions in like 12 minutes. That <laughs> doesn't really help. It does, I don't really think it's conducive to a, you know, a good, uh, confident application. But the Sky one did make me actually want to get the job in a sense. Um, in, but I also really liked Proxima because the first stage of the application was a video interview with someone rather than a recorded video interview. Naomi thinks that these in-person interviews make a big difference. I think with my uh, experience with interviews, I much prefer live interviews just because I think it gets me, it gives me a better sense of um, the company and also makes me feel more comfortable because I can actually see someone and, you know, get a natural response. Whereas when it's the recorded interviews, I suppose it makes me feel a lot more under pressure to say the right thing, especially because sometimes they don't let you re-record the answer. Nem is taking a pragmatic approach to the lack of response from employers. So the employers that haven't gotten back to me yet, it's I'm not really that fussed about when they reply because I'm quite preoccupied with other things at university um I do think that there should be a sort of you know two week period at least maybe rather than a good few months of not hearing anything back but at the same time yeah because I'm quite busy with other things I don't really think about it too much although Naomi will continue job hunting over the next few months university life will take priority so I'll be taking a break from job hunting until at least after the new year and then when uni starts again, I suppose I'll be focusing a lot more on my dissertation and my other modules this time. But I think every now and then, perhaps maybe one day a week, I might go back into applying for jobs and seeing how that goes. The last of our graduates of 2024 is Marcelina Palomar. She's in her third year at the University of Cambridge on the Management Studies course. She has a clear idea of what she's looking for in her first job. 
think there are a few things that would make me want to apply to a certain employer. One of them would be having a very good work-life balance. I think a lot of the jobs that I've applied for, I've had some pretty terrible things about. Oh, you know, like 70 hour weeks and you're just like, oh, I'm, I'm not sure it's worth that money. Um, another thing would be having that reassurance that I would be able to develop myself, not just professionally, but also personally. And I guess that chimes in with having time to actually do things outside of work. But I know a lot of companies invest in their employees that is, you know, sending them abroad, funding the masters, funding the MBAs and things like that. So that is something that is very important to me. Marcelina came from a state school background and had little support with her application for university. So my school was actually in a very poor area in Nottinghamshire, if not the most deprived area in Nottinghamshire. Uh, so I think quite naturally they went very keen on the encouraging those, you know, kind of high row applications to, to Oxbridge, to London, purely because they've never had to deal with that. Um, and so the comfort zone would be, let's just apply to something local because we know how that works and we can actually provide you support with that. But when it came to, like I said, Oxbridge, London, they would actually be quite scared because they wouldn't know what it is that they need to support me with. Um, and it's actually quite funny because one of my teachers, it felt like had a grudge against Oxbridge. She was like, oh, you don't need to go there. It's not even that good. You know, it's, it's not worth your while. And... It, it can be a bit disencouraging when you think, actually, I think you're wrong, but you can't say that to a teacher, obviously, because they're, at the end of the day, they're the ones giving you the grades and supporting your application. Marcelina has appreciated meeting employers in person at events in Cambridge. For instance, I went to a McKinsey event that was aimed specifically at first-generation students, and I found that very, very good talking to other, also Cambridge alumni, um, who were in my spot and thinking, actually, I can do that and that's not out of, you know, out of reach. Marcelina has had a busy autumn making applications. So I've applied to actually quite a lot of places. I, I like to keep my options open. I like a lot of things, so I don't want to constrain myself to just one thing. I've applied for a few consultancies, that is BCG, McKinsey, KPMG, EY. Um, and I've also applied to a few general management roles that includes Aldi and Mars. And a few law roles, so that would be kind of law traineeships. Um, I applied to Klein & Co and Allen and & Overy. And I also applied for some public roles, like the civil service bus street. A strict bus stream. <laughs> Marcelina is keen to find a graduate role that keeps her busy. When I look for a, my perfect job, um, one of them is dealing with current affairs, dealing with current problems. I think that's very exciting, these things to change from day to day um, and so I think when I look for a job I want something that will keep me on my feet and that will not include me doing the same thing over and over again and I think the business world provides this plethora of opportunities that change very very quickly uh, and that means I can always grow and I can always develop myself. 